looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Why don't you just tell me what's going on? I'm on your side. Why'd you climb in through the window then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. I'm trying to help I you. I told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? You lied to me, Toad. You cut me in. I broke the lamp. You lied to me like three, four times. I got my key, so I climbed the sill. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? <gasps> Toad! Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. <laughs> Take off the hat. Someone hit Toad! How dare they! It was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. <laughs> they come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. What an asshole. I even tried to give the bowels to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Poor Toad. Man, I'm gonna get revenge for his head. Oh my god! No, I wouldn't wear it outside. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's kind of creepy. Wait. Donkey skin, right? Mysterious object. <gasps> it's a note from the killer. It's an envelope. Or something. Fucking hell, of course there is. If my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's a death <laughs> to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Uh-oh. Don't make it a dilemma. Just open it. Let's just keep it. Let's just keep it for now. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. I want to see a doctor about that, Toad. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. He didn't have an English accent right there. I thought that kid 
pretty sure that kid was just like Toad, you know? Does it always go that smoothly? Not consistent. Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. Who knows? When you put it that way. Lawrence is dead, so... Hopefully my decision to keep it isn't a huge problem here. Lawrence's apartment, South Bronx, early morning. I don't want to morning. stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Okay, then. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife that was covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Whatever. I'm telling you the guy is dead. He was sitting motionless in his chair with a bloody knife at his feet. There's no way the guy is alive. Somebody killed him too. The door is even ajar, I think. Can you hear me? Yep. That's not good. Oh, he's totally dead. Covering her nose. That's the stench of a dead body. That's the mark of the what the... Now he's on the floor, though. Lawrence! Why'd you do it, Lawrence? Why'd you die? Somebody stabbed him through oh the back? Oh, <gasps> He's still alive! Stay with me, man! Hey, hey, stay with me, Lawrence. Gonna no. be alright. No. Let me go. No! I can't believe he's alive! Shit. What is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water. Kitchen. Is that a gunshot in his head? What the hell? <laughs> I forgot that these guys can take a stabbing or two. And a bullet to the brain, it seems. What the dump? That's absurd. Come on, we need to hurry it up here. Go. 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 I don't know what the deal is with the fridge, but we gotta save this guy. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? Who did this to you? <laughs> Faith. What? He's crying. No! That doesn't make sense. Do you still have that letter? <laughs> yes. Wow. Should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. What else? How we need it. You should. There might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. Yeah, that's all we have left. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. Wow. It's only two words. But he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. <laughs> Why would you put the letter in his hand? We need to figure out what happened here. And find whoever did this. He said Faith did it. And I don't see how opening that letter was anything resembling an important decision. It just said two things on it. Two words. Check out this fancy knife. Sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? 
<laughs> and walks away. I don't clearly that's what we're here to find out. What's to understand about this? This, this is absolutely nothing strange. Hard edge to this pool like something was here and got moved. Right off the bat. Oh, of course I understand. This man's dead. I understand everything. I don't need to know who killed him. I don't need to know anything. I understand. What's with this pull-out mattress? Son of a... Oh, God. The corner of his head was slammed on the corner of the bed, huh? Not the corner of his head. His head was slammed on the corner of the bed. That's, that must be why there's a big old dent right there. That is a gunshot, but... What is that? My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This is for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Wow, he killed himself. It stuck to the bed a little. Why would he do that? Dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. In the fable afterlife. Well, I'm going with that theory. Sounds like he killed himself. God. Oh, there was a gun. I didn't even see that. So I guess he did shoot himself in the head. But then what happened with the bed? It's like drenched in blood or something. He had to go to town <laughs> in order to kill himself. <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Say what? He's just been sitting here, dying, taking pills. Wow, they really have to go all out if they want to kill themselves. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. You should probably bag that and tag it, not put it up your ass crack. Just throwing that out there, Bigby. <laughs> it's a good way to ruin the integrity of the prints, I would imagine. Prescription sleeping pills. Not to mention what looks like alcohol to me. It says whiskey right there. Is that everything? Oh, well, hold on. That doesn't really help. Well, I'm just pressing shit, okay? Don't get testy with me. Doesn't look like there's anything else of use here. Let's just back out. Uh, what's this over here? There's the round. Again, doesn't bother with bagging or tagging it. Just puts it in his pocket. That was taken. Before all this. Yeah, clearly. At one point, they were most certainly in a happier place. Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself. I don't know about that. Did he shoot himself through the chest or what? Because it's behind the chair. If he shot himself on the left temple, which is what it looks like, it would have gone like over in this direction, over here or something. Whatever. I'm not an actual detective, so what the hell do I know? 